from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Megan Shen, and these are your latest headlines. Today marks one year since eight people were killed in the mass shooting at the FedEx ground facility in Indianapolis. The shooting started around 11 o'clock at night when a former employee opened fire in the parking lot of the facility off of Mirabel Road. The 19-year-old shooter eventually took his own life. We'll have complete coverage all day on WRTV and on the WRTV app. A federal judge says parts of a lawsuit filed by Dre John Reed's mother can move forward. Reed was shot and killed in an exchange of gunfire with Metro Police. This happened in May of 2020 following a police chase. On Thursday, the judge ruled that five areas of the lawsuit can move forward. They include claims of excessive force and a lack of medical care. A pretrial conference is now set for May 26. COVID cases in at least two dozen states are on the rise once again. Experts blame the new Omicron subvariant BA2, but Indiana is not one of those states. Our seven day average is less than 200 cases a day at some of the lowest levels throughout the pandemic. An expert at the Regan Street Institute says it's fair to expect a rise here in BA2. Let's get a check of the weather now with meteorologist Todd Lawson. All right, temperatures today, Megan, will be pretty seasonable for this time of year in the mid 60s. We'll start with sunshine, but see the clouds increase as the day goes on. But as far as rain goes, it doesn't really arrive until late this evening, uh, more so after sunset. There could be a spot shower before that, but once the sun sets, a few light spotty showers will be possible and they'll continue overnight before moving out for your day tomorrow. As far as your weekend goes, tomorrow morning starts off with a little bit of cloud coverage. Cover turns sunny with a high of 56. Easter Sunday, partly cloudy but cool with a high temperature of 53 degrees. Thanks, Todd. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.